Pick a card. Any card. Remember it? You got it? I can't really show you, but just remember any of the cards you saw. I'm going to pick one, and we're going to see what it is at the end of the video. Welcome to the 365 vlog. <laughs> People, today is June 10th, 2016, day 162 of the 365 vlog, and I'm actually gonna do kind of movie review today. As the title shows, I did see Now You See Me Too, and I enjoyed it for the most part. It was a good movie. Note that there will be spoilers throughout this movie, and if you haven't seen the first one or the second one, go see both of them. That out of the way, I wanna talk about this movie because I really enjoy magic and just the whole idea of it, but I feel like this movie. Even though I did think it was good, it was definitely nowhere near as great as the first one in my opinion. And I think that's because it's the second movie. The movie was better because it had the opportunity of actually being able to surprise me with a lot of the tricks that it had in store and the big reveal at the end of the first movie, which just totally blew my mind in addition to a lot of the magic tricks and just the whole non-storyline storyline to that story that makes any sense. First movie just had like a bunch of magic tricks that led up to a big reveal at the end because it was all one big magic trick and that was great but this movie didn't have that because it felt like a mashup of Ocean's Eleven and Step Up. It's a weird combination but I'll explain why. Ocean's Eleven part comes in because for the most of the movie they have to pick up some card that Daniel Radcliffe wants and they get this card in some crazy ass way one of the best scenes of the movie which was the card scene that was really intense not intense but more like suspenseful it was just like ah that was cool but that was like the oceans 11 part the step up part was like everyone had a set of skills that they had to use to save their friend kind of thing at the end i don't know if it makes any sense but i had some parallel during the movie that it made sense to me at that time what were the couple of letdowns for me? One of the letdowns that was big for me was Daniel Radcliffe's character. Oh my god. He was so just blasé, boring. I thought he was going to be a lot better than he actually was. He wasn't good at all. He was just some whiny boy. I Like halfway through the movie, I just kept saying, Daddy, Daddy, why did they take our things, Daddy? And that's how I felt like his character was. He just kept going to his dad, who was in the first movie, got robbed and shit. And it was just really... <laughs> Exactly. That's how I felt. Character Lee, he was underused, like, and by underused, he wasn't used at all. He just stood there and talked a little bit, and it was just... Pfft. One of the new characters, the girl, she was interesting. She was funny, playful. She made the movie really lighthearted and nice. The other characters were so-so. Mr. What's his name? Social media dude. He was pompous, full of himself, but he learned a little bit, and the Hulk was also pretty boring because at the beginning of the movie, one of the FBI dudes just figured out who the heck he was and how the heck he was doing shit. And I'm like, how did he know that already? So that was just kind of, uh, and it was, the movie was just overall, eh, but it wasn't bad. And the other problem I had with the movie was previews. Like, the previews were too spoilers. Like, there was one point where, is it Jesse Eisenberg or whatever his name is? Mr. Social Media. And he had, like, this water trick, like the rain trick. That shit was hot. Now, see, that would have been really cool if that wasn't teased in, like, the TV ads. Granted, maybe people wouldn't want to have seen it, but maybe they could have shown other parts. And that part, I wish I didn't see because if I had seen it in the movie for the first time, I'd have been like, oh, that shit was hot. Because there was this one point where he did this, like, disappear, and he disappeared into the water. I was like, oh, that was cool. And then the other dude, like, did a card trick and disappeared. That was really cool. With all those cool things said, I think what disappointed me the most is what I thought the movie was going to be versus what the movie actually was. I was watching all the TV ads, I had this idea in my mind that they added like these two other magicians, which was Daniel Radcliffe's character and Lee, and maybe like some other people that I didn't see because they didn't want to show them. And I thought that this movie was going to be type of like a magic duel war between them for some reason, because somewhere in the trailers there was a lot of action and fighting, which later you see in the movie isn't that really great, but it was cool with the Hulk. He did a couple of cool things throughout the movie that was cool, like when he got out of the handcuffs or when he was in the bizarre marketplace and he like used magic to like fight all the dudes which is kind of cool but i wished it was more of like a cool magic duel i don't know what it was because at the beginning of the movie they showed like they tried to expose the knights and i was like oh shit it's them like i was thinking that this movie was going to be really hype because it was going to show different magic tricks and different ways to expose them or they're trying to get to some goal or something and maybe that's what they could do in the next movie and we're going to talk about that 
small midget right here at the end. Looking at the online reports, this movie did pretty good. It came in third place this weekend. And it looks like they're going to already make a third movie. Now for the third movie, what I would really like to see is actually the idea I thought the second movie was gonna do. Because as I attributed it to like Ocean's Eleven, this movie was like Ocean's 13 maybe. May nah, it's not Ocean's Eleven. It was definitely Ocean's 13. I think what they could do is like an Ocean's 12 with like the fox, except maybe like a different crew, uh, troop of like magic people because I thought Daniel Radcliffe was gonna be really swag because he looked like he could be a swag person. Fuck he came from Hogwarts. I thought he was gonna be really cool but he wasn't and Lee wasn't and those were the disappointing facts. I hope they come up with different characters for the next movie and it's like a whole type battle thing. It would be really really cool in my opinion. I can see like so many magic things like they have like they challenge them to do this to get to this place or they're challenging them through like magic tricks or whatever. I don't know exactly what it would be, but it would be something in that area. Whatever it may be, I'm probably gonna go see that movie as well because I do enjoy the franchise as a whole and oh, one of the, this is the last bit, but the brother, the twin brother, oh my God, his character was too funny because he was too goddamn annoying. But overall, that movie was good. It definitely was worth my money to see. I just wish I didn't see a lot of it in the ads and I think you should go check it out if you have time. Guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Tried to keep this review nice and concise. Hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button. And also, if it's your first time seeing my face, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every day and I hope that you enjoy them. So question guys, if you saw the movie, what do you think about it? And if you've seen clips or heard about it, what do you ha what have you heard and what do you think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. Yeah guys, I'm Vandal. Don't forget to keep it 365 and I'll talk to you tomorrow with another video. Peace, bye. I almost forgot. I had picked um, four cards because I'm pretty sure you picked one and I promised one at the end of the video. So, let's see. I have four cards right here, right? I'm turning them on like this. So I picked four cards. One of these four cards is your card. Now, I'm going to put them as one card and I'm going to pick the one that is your card. Are you ready? It looks like this is your card. At the end of the day, making money is not fast and or easy or whatever it is you'd like it to be. It is actually taking a lot of hard work and it's not as simple as they just paint it out to be. And also these incentives to bring more people into the pyramid to build it up so you get to get pushed